Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Ola in Kafulabi in the building. If you are new to my channel, I'm a biomedical scientist based in the United Kingdom and I talk about biomedical science in the United Kingdom, HCPC registration, my life in the United Kingdom and everything around that. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel, share my videos, like my videos, and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Please do not forget to turn on the bell notification icon. So in today's video, we'll be talking about the financial implication of getting on the HCPC register. So you might be thinking, okay, um, HCPC, this HCPC, that I was using probably wondering how much what's the financial implication like so we'll be talking money today now if you watch my previous videos you realize that i mentioned some documents making reference to um what is obtainable from the hcpc website if you have not watched that video please feel free to go back and watch the video now the documents you need first off you'll be need you need your proof of identity right and you can prove your identity by making use of your international passport. So let's say the first thing you'll be needing money for is your international passport if you don't have it already. Do you understand? Okay. Some other documents you need that might not necessarily need money. I may not mention them. But if you watch that video, you will get to know the documents you will need. The next thing you'll be, you will need money for is your degree certificate. Now, it depends. It depends on your situation again. Some people have it already. Some people don't have it. Like, for example, when I was about registering for HCPC, as I then, I did not have my degree certificate, so I had to go get it from my school. Do you understand? So you need money to, for that. Depending on your school, maybe it's free from your school. I don't know, but for my own school, we had to pay to get it. We had to make some payments to get it. That's number two. Another thing you'll be needing money for, is your course information form now like i said it depends on your situation like in my school once you i finished from law tech so that's Lado capital university of technology Bumo Show. now once you need the HTPC course information form once you get across to the UPN department and tell them you need the form they will tell you the information you need to provide and they will help you fill the form and they have the format they know what to do and they will tell you the, the cost implication so, but I discovered that some schools, sometimes they ask you to like fill the information yourself. Why the only thing they will do for you is to help you stamp it. So, depending on your situation, again, you might need to consider the money for course information form. Now, after that, let's say that those are the things you need money for. Now, another thing I feel I should mention you need money for, or you might need money for, is um, you will get to a part where you need to provide details of your supervisors maybe in this case your previous employer or your present employer most likely your academic um, references would have or your supervisor would have an, um, an official email so you might not have a problem with that but you might have some people employers or past employers or present employers do not have official email so and any conversation HCPC will be having with a third party in relation to your application, they relate with them via official email. So you might need to like create an email yourself on their behalf, or you inform them, or you inform because if or you inform your employer that okay, they need to have an official email that should you create it for them. So if they agree to that, some of us might not be able to do it ourselves, might need to like contact somebody to help us do it. That will require us to spend money as well. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So me, I did not have issue with that. My employers are then add an official email. So you might need to consider that as well. Now, another thing you'll be needing money for, or, or depending on your circumstance, again, is um, um, although you don't need money for it, you don't even have to pay for it, there's a part that needs you to like certify. There are some documents you need to certify. Again, you might need to go back to that video to watch it. Now, this can be done free of charge. Your pastor can certify your documents, your senior colleagues, even your colleague, your employer, different set of people. 
anyone of good standing as stated by the ACPC. Any professional can certify your document for you. Just follow the instruction. So you don't need to pay for that. But in times past, we have seen people pay paying for it. Even I wanted to give it to a notary in public, someone to help me stamp it in the um I think it was the high court or something. When I had the money, I had to like leave the place and I had to go back to my former director of medical laboratory service where I did my internship. So she helped me with the certification. So I didn't need to pay for that. Now another thing you be needing money for is your scrutiny fee. After gathering your documents together, you are ready to submit your documents online. You need to like scan your documents, fill some information online. After doing that, your you need to pay a fee called scrutiny fee. The fee is for assessment of your application. Now the, the ACPC will not assess your application if you don't make that payment. And the payment is 539.65 pounds. That is, that's, that, that's the payment for that. Now, okay, you submitted your scrutiny fee and all. If, for example, you are a medical laboratory scientist who wants to register as a biomedical scientist in this case, the ACPC would contact the MLSCN at this stage. They need a, um, they need to, and the MLSCN to provide um, an information to them, like you have you are maybe you are fully registered. We call it um um certificate of good standing or something like that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not using the right word, but like the MLSN has to prove that you are registered with them and maybe all of everything around that. So there's a fee for that too. Do you understand? Although in my own case, when I did my own registration, there was this online way that this is you could verify if you are of good standing with the MLSCN. I learned it's not done that way now. And ACPC has to contact MLSCN themselves. So you have to pay for that. I think it's around 40,000 naira, so I'm not too sure. I didn't do that, so I'm not too sure. You have to pay for that. You can um, you can confirm again. Um, after that, maybe your application has been assessed and oh, after some couple of weeks, they will send you a link or they will tell you to go ahead and pay your registration fee. Now, that registration fee costs £196.24. Now, the fee is actually £98.12 per year. But if you are registering for the first time, you'll be paying for two years. Do you understand? So now, we have something called cycle and all of that stuff. stuff. But don't let me bore you with that. So just know that you'll be paying £196.24. Point two four pounds. So yeah, I think basically those are the things you'll be paying money for for the ACPC process. Those are the things I needed to pay money for, or the things I know about regarding the ACPC process. So you know, relocation can be it's it's you need to be financially prepared for anything that has to do with relocation. So, for example, you are still doing your internship or you are about graduating and you would like to come to the UK to work as a biomedical scientist, why don't you start planning financially? You don't need to get to that stage when you already have your practicing license and you are ready to proceed with the application, then you get stuck financially. So, yeah, that you need to prepare for that. Now, I'll just stick in this. It's not really part of, I'm not supposed to add it to this video, but let me just talk about it. As regards the statement I made that you need to be financially prepared for relocation. Now, after ACPC registration, you know I did a video that like what next? The next thing is to start searching for jobs. Now you start searching for jobs, maybe you got interview invite, you were offered a job, you got your COS and all. You also there are still some money you'll be needing again. So what I'm just trying to say is that even beyond the registration, you still need to like give room. To prepare more, you'll be needing money at this stage for. Let me mention it, but don't bore yourself about that now. This video is basically talking. Okay, maybe I should not even mention it so that you will not be confused. Let's just use this. This video should just address the HCPC registration and just be it in mind that even after registration and you get an offer, the next thing is that you still need money after that. Now, please 
let me issue this disclaimer that you have your ACBC registration that does not automatically mean you, you will get a job. It's just like when we are in Nigeria, then I had my MLSCN license. That does not automatically mean I have a job as a male lab scientist. I had to search for jobs. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So just be patient with your process. Do your own part. And know that because your ACBC register does not mean you automatically get a job. There's a process to it. And one thing about ACPC is that, fine, for the registration, you don't need to, like, prepare for an exam. The real preparation starts after you get registered. But you can do yourself a favor, even before your registration, why not go ahead? If you go online, like, you can start reading, maybe, for instance, like, you can browse biomedical science, and... You can browse something like interview questions for biomedical scientists. You can just, you can start reading. And if you don't want to go through the route of online, whatever, you can just start reading. That's just the mind. So go online, start reading. Or another thing you can do is, I did that. You go on YouTube, start watching videos. Like maybe, um, like for example, if you're in hematology and blood transfusion, you can watch maybe blood group, blood grouping. Just try to look for a video that talks about the way they do blood group in the UK. Using a permission, you get that kind of thing. Okay, full blood count, making use of so 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 and so analyzer. Do you get it? You just like start reading and start preparing because the system is a bit different. Read about QMS, read about quality control. If reading is not working, you can watch YouTube videos to help you. Do you understand? So I believe that this video um, would be helpful to you. You find you would find it useful to you. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for coming back to my returning subscribers. Thank you for coming back to my new subscribers. Thank you for stopping by. Please, if you are new or if you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. Help me. Help me. Help me. Subscribe to my channel, share my videos, like my video, give give me a thumb up and click on the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified of any video. So for now, it's a bye from your girl online in Thank you for watching.